All right, hey everybody, and welcome back to Cyberpunk TV. And this is Duck Game, and this is a game I'm incredibly excited to play with you because this is a game I have wanted to share with you um, for a very long time. Uh, it was originally an Ouya exclusive, and that's where I first played it. It actually had a very obscure store entry, so not a lot of people purchased it because it was $15 and didn't have a trailer, and it didn't really... Um, explain what it was at all. But it's such a good game. It's in fact a four-player um, competitive kind of free-for-all brawler in the same vein as Super Smash Brothers, but very, very different in that instead of having character differences, you have to pick up your weapons on the map and fight each other then. Um, gonna do my best to explain how this game works as I play it. I've done a little bit of test footage now, and it's really, really hard to play this game and talk at the same time. So... I'm going to do that. But before I do that, I'm going to explain to you this tutorial. So what I did is I jumped up here and I pick up this gun and I shoot the glass and I walk out. Now that doesn't seem like much, but what that actually does is it teaches you all the major controls of the game. Um, you have to jump, you have to pick up something, and you have to shoot before you can even join a game. Meaning, now you're ready to play. If your friend has never played video games before, they've already got the controls explained to them before they even start. And that's some, just one of the many things that I really like about this game. I'm just going to flat out gush. I, I love Duck Game. I must have played this for probably a couple of hundred hours at least. So, all right. I'm in the bottom right corner, and I'm orange. So stick with me. And I, you know what? I will be a pumpkin because I'm the orange duck. Why the heck not? All right. So we're playing on the Steam version of the game because this is, in fact, live online multiplayer. And rather than try to play the game the entire time, I'm going to just try to explain the highlights to you guys, and hopefully that will make this game make a little more sense. There, I just hit that guy with a box. Come on, come on. Alright, so right there, he has a magnum, and a 45 magnum can go through doors, uh, just like Dirty Harry. All right, so where am I? Oh, okay. So I got netted, and when you're netted, you can mash the A button to escape, but I was knocked off the map and immediately killed. So that didn't quite work out for me. All right, so these doors are actually blocked. We can shoot through them, that's just fine, but that doesn't really help us. All right, so I put on Sonic shoes, and when you put on the Sonic the Hedgehog shoes, you can kill people by jumping on them, which is the only time you can do that. And so I don't think he was expecting that. Maybe. Well, all right, I deserve that. <laughs> In one of the later patches of this game, it actually added ragdoll physics for the ducks. And some of the things you can do is uh, if you come across the corpse of another duck, you can pick it up and throw it off the map. Or you can um, gently close their eyes, which is something that's just kind of ridiculous. Here we go. I'm going to close his eyes. He deserved that. That was a good that was a good hit. So he threw the sword at me and killed me before I could do anything, which I completely think is a pretty decent plan. Oh, well, there, now I'm stuck. Oh. If he had a, a less powerful weapon, you can actually block gunfire with a barrel or with a crate or anything of that nature and survive stuff like that. But the 45 is pretty darn strong. Yep, there we go. The only time you can shoot up is in the middle of a jump, which is another kind of strange gameplay choice, but um, that's so when you flap your wings, you can shoot up. Strange, I don't know. That just thought I'd try to explain. Alright. That was almost good. Shoot you in your butt, man cat. I know you're there. There. Mutually Assured Destruction. That happens quite frequently in Duck Game. Quite frequently. Alright. You know what, I'm just not- I'm just not gonna participate in that. Oh, never mind. So when an opponent is netted, you can pick him up like an item and throw him off the- the thing manually, which is pretty cool, but, um, a little bit tricky to do with this many people trying to kill you. Most of the throwing and um, picking up items mechanics in this game are actually 
Well, I got sniper rifled. Um, are actually kind of speed dependent, so the faster you move, the farther you can throw stuff, which makes it interesting, but also difficult to sometimes hit people. And I have frequently <laughs> got my head smashed in by things like that. Oh man, lots of people like Nyancat. Jeez, this, the stands are crazy. Oh, I can skip that there. That is just the thing that shows you who, what the score is, so. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I can jetpack while I'm in my... I can jetpack, but that's all I can do. There we go. All right, I'm out of here. Yeah, it went pretty well. Well, okay. I will win a match just for surviving. I will absolutely take that. Now, what just happened there <laughs> was a little bit of ground sliding, and that's something you can do. The momentum of the guns you fire can slide you around the map. So if you press down the crouch button, when you fire, you can actually do things like that. <laughs> uh, all right. You know what, I want those Sonic shoes. They worked very well. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Yeah, no chance. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we've got. Um, There's a couple of other items that I'm hoping to stumble upon that I can show you over the course of this game, but we'll have to see. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. And this is the holdout pistol. It works kind of just how you'd imagine. It's a single shot. Well, all right then. Sad TV. Ah, uh, this is the gun from Earthworm Jim, if you couldn't tell. And so it, similar to the gun from Earthworm Jim, shoots indefinitely, um, but it slows down over time because the uh, gun from Earthworm Jim had kind of a, an automatic ammo regen, but when you reached the end of the ammo you had stockpiled, it would shoot slower as it only shot as fast as the ammo would come back. So that's what that's about. <laughs> I don't know if that's helpful. Oh, all right. Well, I guess it's just me and this guy. Nyan, Nyan Cat's pretty good. I'm gonna say that right now. He's Yellow Duck's pretty solid. Okay, now chainsaws in this game are really, really fun. You actually have to rev them up, get them started, and once they're started, you can do stuff such as cut down doors or you can chainsaw slide, which didn't really help me. I'm still on fire. <laughs> but chainsaw sliding allows you to use the chainsaw to drag yourself along the ground, and there's actually a whole mini game related to racing with chainsaws, which is kind of insane. <laughs> that was not the best. <laughs> Uh, all right, so this is this this is a little bit interesting. This is the magnet gun. You can latch yourself to walls. You can also pick up things off of spawn pads if they're metal, and knock your enemies around. Pretty fun. It doesn't activate that mine though. A banana. I'm gonna die right here. Yep, caught between those two gentlemen. <laughs> Now, um, that duck there, the yellow one, was wearing metal armor, and when you're wearing any pieces of metal armor, you can be, you're hopeless, you can be grabbed by the magnet gun and thrown around. Um, which is kind of interesting. Now, the other thing you can do is, if they're carrying a metal weapon, such as a sword, you can pull the sword out of their hands, which is cool, but if the pointy end hits you, you die. That was awesome. I feel really, really good about that. Sorry I kind of went silent there, guys. That was that was a little bit stressful. Just a little bit. Alright, I've only got one shell left. This game this gun has a physical ammo counter, so I'm gonna have to do my best not to miss. 
Well, I missed. I don't know what caused the... I don't know what caused... Oh, he buried one of the people. I forgot. Yeah, so the... If you have a Bible, which is an in-game item, or a flower, you can bury an enemy. And when you bury an enemy, the music becomes very melancholy and um, you give them a proper burial. And uh, at that point, a gravestone appears that you can then kill enemies with, but it seems in poor taste. Now, here's a map where I might be able to actually do that. We'll see. And see, okay, so that duck that's by me is wearing a helmet, and I cannot drop things on his head to kill him. Nor can I step on his head. I'm not particularly interested in killing him, though. Oh, whatever. I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright, so this, this thing here is um, a remote control explodable buggy that you can drive around and kill people with. Pretty cool. Not as effective as a sword, however. I actually think that that item got added right after Call of Duty did it, just kind of as a little fun Easter egg. There's plenty of strange things in this game. All right, so the, oof. So the other thing that can happen with chainsaws is similar to real chainsaws in real life. They, they leak fuel. And if you throw your chainsaw at people, it will leak fuel and possibly be set on fire by another player. Oh, he's really good. That was cool. <laughs> I gotta give it to him, man. He's a he's a good player. All right, I'm gonna grab this chain gun right now. Put on some shoes. Get in there. Well, I suppose so. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we've got. I don't know this map. I deserve that. <laughs> So in addition to just this straight deathmatch mode, there's plenty of gameplay, um, kind of, I don't want to say gameplay modifiers that you can unlock, and, um, when you do that, oh man, that was ridiculous, that's a sonic, uh, spring down there, and the gun bounced off of it, um, but when you unlock more gameplay modifiers, you can unlock something like Quop mode, which is a reference to that sports game, where you have to alternate top buttons to walk, otherwise you just fall down, and that's hilarious. Um, there's a bunch of other strange modifiers where you always start with a... always start with a weapon, or start with the specific things, or, I don't know, you space marine mode where you have all the armor. It's kind of a ridiculous uh, bunch of options for a game that was indie developed and basically put on the Ouya for no one to see. Um, eventually, Adult Swim did publish this game for the, uh, for Steam which is why you'll see their name on the credits in this version, but not in the original. Oops. There we go. Um, they also published Volgar the Viking and a few other games that were made, you know, developed independently by indie companies and then just added to... There, that worked just fine. Um, just added to the Steam store like that. All right, I'm going to take this because there's a lot of barrels. Ta-da! <laughs> I feel good when I actually get to record myself winning. It doesn't happen very often, but... Yeah, fair enough. So... If you're wondering what the plot of this game is, there's not a lot of it. But, um, it's basically that the world has been taken over by, uh, sentient ducks. And the sentient ducks, um work in offices and get bored and since life is incredibly cheap and you can just basically be regenerated to continue working they um fight in death games for entertainment and so that's what the kind of apocalyptic future and the water coolers and other assorted office paraphernalia is about the desks and chairs and whatnot um yeah this weapon's pretty neat in that it actually destroys and modifies the terrain you can punch holes and stuff and from there you can actually Oh, there we go. I, I hate it when I die early. I don't get to participate. I just have to sit here and try to come up with something interesting to say. This doesn't often work. Oh, no.
Alright. I just jumped off the map. I don't know what I'm doing. I've officially lost focus. At least that one was particularly short. Nice. Oh geez, fire everywhere. Yeah, be good. Oh, he got me with his assault rifle around. Wow, that's pretty good. That guy's not doing so hot. Or maybe I should say he is. <laughs> what are you gonna do, buddy? Come on. There you go. Now this particular gun is actually a reference to um, Adult Swim, which is funny. It's uh, it's uh, the Moon Knight gun from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. So it shoots an incredibly deadly beam that moves very, very slowly. And this was in the original version of the game before they got Adult Swim support. And I'm really glad that it's still in, even though... Um... Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I, pretty fun. All right, let's see what else we got. Alright, so there's an item that I don't know if I'll be able to have come up. Maybe maybe we'll get lucky, but um, there's an item called the Bible that you can get. And when you get the Bible, you don't attack, you just um, read passages of scripture for the enemies. And when you do that, if they listen for a little while, they will join your team. And then any kills and things they do will count toward your kills instead of theirs. Or, excuse me, yeah, towards your kills instead of theirs, that's what I said. Oh, jeez. There's also a couple of other mechanics that I haven't really been able to explain, but um, I just the maps are unrandomized, so. Um, one of the things I will talk about then is uh, there is a mind control ray that can be used to take control of an enemy's character, and you do that right live in line, and you can just then run them off a cliff or do whatever you want. I tried to fight off a sword with a desk, I deserve that. But um, if you use the mind control ray, there's actually an item that you can pick up called a tinfoil hat, which protects you from mind control, as you would assume, which is pretty cool. Um, as you can see there, the boots will also um, block bullets because the soles are metal. So they will block bullets if you're sliding, but only if you're sliding. I like him dropping his sunglasses on the way down. Now, um, this is a very bizarre series of uh, maps. Now, this one, once everything is on fire, ugh, if you're lucky, you can stop, drop, and roll. Um, sliding will uh, put out the fire, but um, not very quickly. So unless, if you're very on fire, they're stop dropping and rolling them on very much. And I just killed myself trying to hit that other guy. Um, but uh, the nerf gun, which is the little green gun that you saw in the last round, can actually be um, set on fire using a nearby bit of fire to then shoot deadly flaming bolts, which is pretty rad. Nice. Oof.
Yeah, that did not go well. Now that's what, something you can do in this game. Um, when you slide and lay on your back, you can play dead and other enemies might mistake you for no longer part of the living. Wow. He won by a lot. All right, I'm gonna take this opportunity to jump back out of multiplayer and show you the single player of this game. Now, if you play duck games single player, or you're on the Ouya version and you're by yourself, you can't connect to online, but you can go to the challenge arcade. And the Challenge Arcade is a series of levels designed to test the limits of the game engine. And some of them are quite fun and bizarre. You, What you do is you earn tickets for playing games similar to Chuck E. Cheese's, and you use it to buy all kinds of stuff from the coolest duck ever. Now, I have not done hardly any of these on this. I played most of them on the Ouya. So let's jump in and just play one. So here's an obstacle course. We have to race. And so while we're running, we have to collect all the different stars and try not to take forever, which I am doing right now. All right, so there you can see there are um, some spring pads coming into action here. Oops. Um, if you're sliding feet first, you can go through the glass, but if you're um, not, you can't. There we go. Not bad. 38 seconds is going to be a terrible time, though. These challenges are really hard. A bronze isn't bad, though. I'll take that. So let's move on. What else we got? Death Ray 101. All right, so we have to kill some targets with the Spartan laser, or Death Ray. All right, so I think I'm best served in this challenge to go find somewhere to the side. Kind of try to hit things in between. Oh, that sucks, come on. There we go, other than, oh, I have a jetpack. Thank goodness. I was, I was in trouble. All right, so. Oops. Not bad. Can't even see them. There we go. Only got seven seconds left, guys. Well, that's how it goes. All right, well, there's plenty of other cha uh, challenges like these ones that you can play. Um, swing shoes. And this, so this was one mechanic I was unable to show you from playing multiplayer, is there is a grappling hook and it functions pretty similarly to how the one from Worms does, in that you can swing back and forth and extend your rope. It's um, a lot more crazy to do so in real time than in a turn-based game, but it does allow you to get some of that same kind of grappling hook heroics that you get from other games. Man. All right, so I'm terrible. But one of the things I did want to talk to you guys about is the reason for the season. Um, my channel, as you can tell, has been doing duck -sember, and now's a great time for you to share your passion for video games with your family and your friends and play with your parents. Um, uh, sometimes I can even convince my mom to play Mario. Um, whether you're rich or you're poor, you have a lot of money and you celebrate Christmas or not, um, it's always important to get together with your friends and do something that you all enjoy. And Duck Game is one of my favorite games to play with other people. Um, it's something that I just absolutely enjoy. And so that's what I did this year. I um, am uploading right after this one on the same day, um, a video of me and four of my friends playing Duck Game. And um, I hope you watch it and enjoy it. And I hope you buy Duck Game and play it with me or play it with anybody else. And so I wish all of you a Merry Christmas and a happy new year and um, happy holidays. Whatever whatever you do with your friends and family this year, keep them close. Um, 2016 was a rough year and I think we need friends more than ever. Thank you very much. Good night.